Hello YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Project we got this week is a bit of Hawthorne. And the problem with Hawthorne is, as you can see from there, it never grows very uniform. It's not really rounded. It looks almost like uh, you end up with like three or four bits that are all sort of conjoined together. But what I intend to do is turn that to my favour because I'm going to hollow this and leave all those big cracks running down through there. So let's get in turn some wood. Everything is the first thing I want to do is just turn the tenon on that end. So that's how it's secure in the chuck. So as you can see I've now got this set up in my four jaw chuck and my revolving centre on the other end. And what I'm going to do now is just with my bowl gouge, I'm going to go through and take some of this wood away. And what I want to do is take that down on that end until I get continuous wood right the way through. Because then I know that I've got something solid there to anchor all the other pieces. Because I think once I've hollowed that and those cracks, there's not going to be a great deal of integral strength in that wood. So it's just a matter of going through, taking that down until I get past all those cracks and fissures in there and have a solid piece of wood right the way around. I did start originally that um, I was going to put the base of the vase on the right as you look at it and the top of the vase would be on the left. I was sort of turning it around the wood or the better wood was on the left. So I very quickly revised this and I'm just going to turn a tenon on the left of the picture and I will reverse that round. You can see from that picture you can see how deep that fissure is running through there. That's quite a big old crank running in there. And there's one on the opposite side as well. I am going to be I have to be ultra careful when I start turning that hollow in that. As I said there's not going to be a lot of strength left in that wood. So here I am now I've got my half inch spindle gauge and I'm just going through and I'm going to ruffle that away and just get down until I've got a nice cylindrical shape and most of the bark will be removed and I'll just add the bare wood underneath. Hawthorne's not the greatest of woods for grain pattern it does tend to be quite subtle but when it is there it does show up very well And it does vary a great deal between pieces of the different pieces of wood as to what sort of grain you can. Some of it can be really quite plain. Done now is I've put this on a split screen so you'll be able to see this on the top half of the screen where my black dot is in relation to the turning piece and then on this one you can see this is a tool coming in and out and doing all the work.
So that's all nicely hollowed now. You see where that split went right the way down through there. And I've got another one down through there as well. So I'm just going to sand that now by, um, with a power sander. I'm going to take most of that down and then I'll just sand it by literally by hand with the grain. So that's sanded down to 320. It's going to be quite a nice finish on that. It's just quite smooth. Let's just apply some sand and see there. It was just going there on that bark. The paintbrush just make sure that it right down in them cracks. So, I sand that down to 600, got a really nice finish on there. And what I've done there is I've applied some wax on there because I need to buff that up on the wheel as opposed to sanding it in the lathe. That's better, that's much better showing on there, second coat. Well, there you go YouTubers. Twisted old gnarly old bit of Hawthorne. Feel crack running down through there. And every time I take a piece up to my wife, my wife says to me, that's very nice, but what should I do with it? If it has no practical purpose, it's got to be a piece of art. And I can't really see any practical purpose for that whatsoever. It's a piece of art it is. I've got to say with all those fissures in there and the cracks and the bark left on there, that is quite a pretty piece. Quite nice, quite enjoyed doing that. Another fun project. Well, thank you all very much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed watching it half as much as I've enjoyed making it, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. So, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You take care of yourself and I'll see you all next week. Take care. Bye bye.